Mike and I are sitting in one of our saunas right now. Saunas have been around for 2,000 years because of the incredible benefits for the mind and body. We're gonna go through all the benefits that sauna provides. Buckle up, here we go. I'm Ryan. And I'm Mike. We're the co-founders of Plunge. Today, we're sharing our life-changing experiences with sauna and the benefits we've experienced throughout the years. Let's get into it. Number one, relaxation. Saunas can help relax the mind and body, especially once you get out of the sauna. Number two, detoxification. Saunas help you sweat. This kickstarts your lymph system, which is your natural waste management, and it delivers every single day. Get in a sauna, kickstarts that system. Want to improve your daily habits? Check out this video to learn more. Number three is skin health. So when you sweat, it's gonna open up your pores and it helps with your skin health. Number four is circulation. So when you get in the sauna, your blood pressure is gonna go up, your heart rate's gonna go up, and your circulation is gonna get a boost and that's good for your health. Number five is stress relief. So saunas have been shown in studies to actually lower cortisol levels. So the more you sweat, the less you stress. Thankfully, there are studies to all these benefits of saunas and you don't have to take our word for it. This study linked below found the participants reduce their overall risk of cardiovascular disease and death by stroke just by having regular sauna use. This paper found that increasing the frequency and length of sauna use, it reduced overall cardiovascular disease. Other studies have linked overall sauna usage with a decrease in cortisol levels, increase in DNA repair, and an increase in heat shock proteins. To learn more ways to increase your physical and mental well-being, go check the video below to improve your mental health. Okay, so we've established the sauna unlocks a ton of health benefits, but how do you properly use a sauna? Let's dive in. There's a lot of great research for saunas, and the top research we know about is from Susanna Soberg, and what she says is to use a sauna for 56 minutes in total throughout the week at a minimum. And then also for temperature, you want to be in the range of 176 to all the way up to 220 or 230. And we have a whole different video coming soon about saunas for beginners, so smash that subscribe button so you don't miss that one. Implementing regular sauna use can be done by accessing the sauna at your local gym or even having an at-home sauna in your backyard. We're proud to offer our own line of premium saunas here at Plunge, which you can find at plunge.com. Mike and I are sitting in one of our saunas right now, and some of the coolest features about it are, first, this backrest. You'll notice we're at a 15-degree angle. It's ergonomic. It's comfortable. This is a highly uncomfortable space, so we wanted to make it as comfortable as possible when you're sweating at those high heats. Speaking of high heats, our temp can get all the way up to 230 degrees. I haven't quite ventured there. I like it around 200 degrees, but 15 minutes and I am sweating profusely and that's all I need. The other is the benches we're sitting on. These actually flip up and this room can actually turn into a functional workout space. You can bring a stationary bike in. You could do kettlebell swings. You could even roll out a yoga mat. I recommend not working out at 230 degrees, maybe 110, maybe 120, but that's your call. The other is the design. It's a very distinct look into what we've built. We wanted the plunge sauna to match the plunge if you happen to have both, but it's a beautiful feature that you can be proud that it's in your backyard. Be sure to check it out, plunge.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.